Hello friends, Miss Natalie here, and today I am going to show you how to use the Colorize Mask tool in Krita. Um, I am working on a logo here. It's my WOW logo. I've got my lines in. I've got everything set the way I like it. And now I'm ready to add some color. To do that, I'm going to go over to the layer to which I want to add some color and I am going to right click and find add and under add there is an option called colorize mask so I'm going to click there and I'm going to add a colorized mask you can see it now is a sub heading under that particular vector layer and I'm going to go over to the colorized mask editing tool and click on it and you will see that the uh, the images in that particular layer the dark lines are now gray if i hide my uh, letters you can see what it looks like um, and now i can basically choose my colors i've got a bunch of colors already here and i'm just going to put a single line even make a dot where i want those colors to be they're going to be inside those lines but i'm going to do some rainbow colors here pretty excited about those rainbow colors i'm going to get rid of the background so you can see that i am going to have white for this section here that's going to be white and i'm going to have some grays down here three and nope oh, wrong color uh let's there we go i want a lighter gray there it doesn't look any lighter than that other one okay let's oh let's do it this way we'll do a solid gray here and a lighter gray there okay that's better sorry about that okay so i've got everything so for my outside i'm gonna set that to this magenta color all right and if i click on oops this uh wheel at the end this is where it colorizes everything and it should oh that's right i made it go away it should show all those colors now this is really cool i don't really want the magenta there what i want is that magenta to be transparent what how does that work well if i go to my tool options here i can see that i can choose a color to be transparent so I'm going to choose that magenta I'm going to click on transparent and that will make my color transparent so if I do that colorize uh, mask again look it's see-through now everything that was magenta is now see-through and if I click on this it'll show you exactly what it looks like in the end uh, of course if I put my background back up you can't see that it's it's uh, see-through because the background is white but if i do this um this is um what my final lo uh, logo is going to be so i've added a variety of colors and i've made one of those colors transparent um, when i am ready to save this i'm going to remove that background Nope, I got to click to unlock it, then I can remove that background. And now I can save this as a file. I want to save it as a, a PNG document. A PNG image will keep that background um, transparent. It will in an in a thumbnail it'll look black or white but it will actually be transparent um, when I have it and I'm going to call this wow oh I already have one wowee 
that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to save it here and you'll see it says transparent color. It's going to show whatever color. So my transparent color is going to be black. So the black, the transparent part is going to look black. I'm also saving it as a Krita file. And there we go. And now I have that file, that PNG file to turn in for the assignment. All right, folks, uh, go out there, work on those logos, try out the uh, tool, the Colorize Mask Editing Tool, and make some art.